Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So it'll be interesting to talk a little bit today about problems that go away and problems that don't go away and when to ignore problems and be sort of a procrastinator. Not that I, I'm really encouraging you to be a procrastinator, okay? Don't get me wrong. I've done videos on how not to be lazy or why you should be fucking lazy, okay? But there are certain situations where, and this comes really down into that, that mindset of respond instead of react, right? Anytime you have some something that happens, you should try and make sure that you respond to it rather than react. Reaction is, is the instant, it's an unconscious thing where you immediately do something in reaction. It's, it's you being a puppet, to be honest. It's someone pulls your string and then you do a thing, right? You, you, you get angry, you react. Responding is a pause. Responding is simply when input comes in, stimulus comes into us, we say, how do I want to interpret that? What does this mean to me? I ask some questions about it, and then we logically say, now, how would I like to respond? What, what would I like to do in response to this thing that just happened? And we make a deliberate choice. It might be anger. It might look like the same thing. We might say, huh, I'm going to be angry right now <laughs> because you have a reason, right? You have, you have something that you have a goal, right? You've, you've thought about this, right? Usually anger is not the response, by the way, not the proper response. Sometimes it could be if you need to intimidate someone. There's a good book actually uh, that sort of hits on this. It's called The 50th Law. It's actually by uh, one of my fr favorite authors, Robert Greene and, and 50 Cent. 50 Cent is a pretty awesome guy, actually. I, I, I thought he was pretty, pretty awesome after reading that book. So interesting story. But what are we talking about today? What we're talking about today is that there's a certain class of problems, right? And you have to be able to identify these of problems where you should, especially if you're in the respond mode, instead of react, they'll just sort of solve themselves. You don't have to do anything. Uh, a lot of times emails fall into this category, right? A lot of times, just to give you an example, with Simple Programmer with my email, a lot of times I'll let emails sit for a day or two, especially if they're asking me some technical problem, right? And, I'll, and then most of the time, big big percentage of time someone will email me back before I even respond to them and say hey never mind I solved the problem <laughs> and then that's like oh there you go I don't really need to answer that question because you solve your own problem okay so there's a huge percentage of, of problems that fall in that category a lot of things in life that we should just ignore and just wait and see what happens and you know and, and, and it will resolve itself a, a lot of things that that we would normally react to a lot of things we'd get angry about you know especially if you're in an argument if you're in a fight that's a really good one almost all those times those things if you just simply do not react if you simply let someone think that Hillary should be president or that Trump should be president <laughs> or whatever it is whatever side you're on I don't I don't care uh, if, if you just simply let them think that and you don't argue with them Pretty soon there won't be an argument. There won't be a fight because it will just resolve itself. If someone gets angry at you and they're like, I can't believe you left the towel on the floor. Not that this is personal experience, but, and you just don't respond. You're just like, all right, I'm not gonna get sucked into that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cause a argument. I'm just, it will resolve itself. The anger will disappear, <laughs> right? That this won't, won't require you to address it. There's a huge number of these things that happen throughout your life, and most of them don't even involve you. We're like most of the stuff that we get involved in, the petty stuff that we get into arguments about, and that we we react to, are things that will self-resolve. There's a ton of these things, right, in our own bodies, right? We get a wound, we have a scab, we pick the scab. No, <laughs> bad. So all you gotta do is not do nothing. Your body will take care of it. If you do something, if you interfere, right? This is one of those things. There's a good book called Anti-Fragile. I recommend this all the time. I did a review on this, or I think I did a review. I'm pretty sure I did, because I reread the book, yeah. And he talks about, uh, not geriatrics, what's it called? At atrogenics, atrogenics. I don't know where I got geriatrics. I guess it's similar. And, and it's basically, Iatrogenics, iatrogenics, atrogenics, something like that. Anyway, it's basically where more people die by doctor. <laughs> the, the, the more times that you go to the doctor, the more likely you are to die. It, because it's, it's very likely that the more that a doctor examines you, operates on you, gives you medicine, that they're going to cause something bad to happen, right? Uh, and, and that's, it's true, right? They've done studies and they've shown this. In fact, back in the old day, right? Remember the guy, what's his name, that invented or that 
the sterilization procedure, right? Doctors were actually killing people by delivering babies. They had a high, high uh, morbidity rate uh, or mortality rate. Morbid, morbid mo mortality? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, a lot of mothers were dying because of, of infection. The infection was was passing on, and because it wasn't, they didn't know about germs. They weren't washing their hands. They thought it was ridiculous to wash their hands. I don't remember the entire story, or the the guy. I can't remember his name now. But see, no one remembers him. But anyway, he he basically that, that's a good a good example of of this of what can happen. So my my point is here is that there's a huge cause of problems, and you got to know what these problems are. Where and, and they're mostly the ones where you would want to react. Where if you just simply change your reaction model to response and say, okay, if I don't do anything, right? In fact, that should be your, your default response to anything should be nothing, okay? You, because you should say, if I don't do anything, will this, what will happen? Will this problem, A, go away on its own, likely? Will it get worse? That's not good. Or will, it, will nothing happen? Will it not matter? Right? And if it doesn't matter or it's going to go away on its own or it has a likely, high likelihood of going away on its own, ignore it. Don't do anything. Right? Uh, I, I suppose that one other possible, possible reaction would be if I respond and I respond in a certain way, will I cause a positive improvement? If you, if you know you can't cause a positive improvement, right? That, I mean, that should be the first thing. It's like, will my response do anything good? If no, or if there's not a high probability of that, then you should say, if I don't respond at all, Will anything bad happen? And if that's the case, that's that's number two. That that's ideal. Don't do anything. Save you energy, and you know good things can happen. But if you're in the third class, and this is the class that you have to pay attention to as well, is the third class says, hey, if I don't do anything, if I just ignore this thing like a fucking moron, what's going to happen? Well, bad things are going to happen. Oh, I got a toothache. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll just ignore it and hope it goes away. No, it's not going away, dumbass. You're going to get a cavity. It's going to get worse. You're going to get, you know, whatever gingivitis. You're going to be, you're going to be fucked, right? Don't ignore that, right? That's when, when you're thinking through that process. But there's a, a huge percentage where you can ignore and it will go away, right? So the people that have fucked up lives, that are, are screwed up all the time, that, you know, you know these, these, these people, right? Maybe you're one of them. I don't know. But you, you know these people. They always have bad things happening to them. They're the people that have it flipped. They're the people that respond and react, mostly react, to everything that they should just ignore and let go. It doesn't matter, right? Or just let time heal it. Let time be the killer, all right? They react and respond to all of those things, okay? And the things that are important, right? Like the toothache, like paying the fucking bills, like all of those, like responding to, you know, a legal summons or showing up for court, those things they ignore. <laughs> those are the things that they, they uh, hope they'll go away. They stick their head in the sand and that never happens, okay? That, those things get worse. So, lesson, right? Figure out which things should you actually respond to? Which things should you not respond to? Try to re limit your reactions completely and, uh, and if you get that right, that's the equation for success. And if you get it wrong, in fact, look at the people who have it wrong and that should be a good lesson for you. All right, if you like this video, if you wanna get more videos like this one, if you wanna kick in the ass every single day, I am here to give it to you. I live for kicking your ass. Just click that subscribe button. I will talk to you next time. Take care.